Okay, this is the first video in a new series that I'm doing on JavaScript interview questions. So any sort of technical web development interview that you go to, you're going to get JavaScript questions. This series, I'm going to be presenting in each video one new topic, one new question, and I will present the problem, let you pause the video, see if you can come up with a solution, and then discuss the solution after that. So first one. What is the order of the output of the letters? So we have here a series of console log statements with the letters A, B, C, D, and E. And we want to know what is the sequence? Is it going to be A, B, C, D, E? Is that the order that the letters are going to appear? Or are they going to appear in a different way? So we'll let you think about this and pause the video here. And then I will come back in a second and discuss the solution. Okay, welcome back. So how do we figure out what this is going to be? Well, first of all, let's just run this and we can see the answer and then we'll talk about why it happens this way. So A, E, B, D, C. Well, A makes sense. It's the first thing. There's nothing stopping this from running. It's going to run right at the very beginning. E being the second one way down here at the bottom, this last one is going to run next. And that's because we're doing a set timeout. Now, with the set timeout, you expect there to be some sort of delay. This one is being delayed by one millisecond, by 10 milliseconds, and by zero milliseconds. So even with zero milliseconds, this one is still not running second. And that's because when you do something with a set timeout. It's taken off the main stack. There's the main event loop that's running with JavaScript. And whenever it sees something set timeout, it says, okay, this I have to put aside and run at some point in the future. And then it sees this one and says, okay, we've got to put this one aside and run this one in the future. And the same thing with the final one. It doesn't matter that we put zero here. It still sees this as something that's sort of asynchronous code. So it takes it off the main event loop, sets it aside, and waits for the main event loop to be done. Okay, so all three of these are set timeout. All three of them are being set aside. That means E is going to be the second one to run. Now, B is the second one. Now, B has a 1, D has a 0. So why is D not coming before B? Well, the reason for this is that B was put onto that sort of secondary stack. It was taken off the main event loop and set aside, and it was the first thing that was set aside. Then this one was set aside, and then this one was set aside. So all three of them have been put aside to run at a later date. Now, during the zero and one milliseconds, there was time enough for both of these commands to run. And that means over on the secondary stack, there is waiting for us this one and this one. They are both finished by this point. Their delay has been completed. They're both ready to run. And because we added this one first, this is the one that comes back to us first. It's simply because these two lines right here took more than one millisecond to run. Therefore, both of these things were ready. And this is the first one that we set aside. So it's the first one that's coming back to us. The C being the last one, 10 milliseconds. Well, that's longer than it took to do everything else. So we were able to do A, E, B, D, and then the 10 millisecond delay would have run out. Very important to remember with set timeout that what you're putting here isn't an exact number. It is a minimum delay. This is the minimum amount of time that must pass before that code can run. So at one millisecond later, or at any point in the future following that, it can run. And the order that you put these things into the asynchronous area, that can determine the order that they come back to us. All right, so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments down below. Um, I will leave a link to a code gist that has this snippet for you in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.